Can an airplane understand where it is without GPS? How can you navigate with a modern airplane with the help of the inertial reference system? Let's find out. Pilots can comfortably see the position of the airplane from a navigation display. This is a normal map where you can see your airplane moving. The map is generated by the Flight Management Guidance System and it is derived from the navigational database. This database is updated every 28th day. The airplane normally determines its position on the map with the help of GPS satellite positioning, among others. Usually, the airplane receives at least four satellite signals to pinpoint its location. The aircraft is not, however, solely dependent on GPS to know where it is. Modern airliners have a so-called inertial reference system or IRS. This system senses movement and acceleration and can calculate the position of the aircraft. In a case where GPS would be lost, you could still normally see your aircraft on your map in front of you. The IRS can calculate or feel three different axes, roll, pitch, yaw, and the acceleration. By knowing these movements, the system can tell the pilot where the aircraft has moved. The IRS uses a ring laser gyro system to measure these movements and to calculate where the aircraft has been relocated. So, when the aircraft moves the system detects it. The ring laser has a laser source and a detector. The system measures how long it takes for the laser to reach the detector. When the aircraft moves, the time to reach the detector changes, and, in this way, you can understand movement and acceleration. In the first example, we can see that the lasers reach the detector in equal time. In the second example, the lasers reach the detector in different times, and this gives us a value that indicated movement. While GPS is a fabulous system that gives very precise position information, the aircraft doesn't need it to know where it is. In case of a GPS lost, the airplane can fly for hours without significantly losing navigational accuracy. In this case, the IRS provides position information and it is backed up by distance measurement information from ground radio stations. Certain approaches to airports require though to have GPS accuracy to be able to fly it. In a wider perspective, there are several different methods of navigation that pilots can use, for example. 1. Celestial. You can determine your location by looking at the position of the sun, moon, and the stars. 2. Landmarks. You can do basic pilotage by just seeing land or landmarks to determine where you are and to find your way from A to B. 3. Dead reckoning. You record your starting point A and calculate heading and speed to figure out where your point B is. 4. Radio navigation. With the use of radio beacon signals you can find your heading and distance, or with GPS a very accurate position. 5. The inertial reference system that was just introduced. On the next flight you will know that there are sophisticated systems and traditional methods to navigate safely to your destination.